we have to ask ourselves, what kind of country allows one young person to be homeless? What kind of country denies health care because you don't have money? Do we want to live in a country where 44 million people depend on food stamps to eat every day? Do we want to live in a country where the disparity between the 1% and the 99 has widened ever since Occupy? And then we have to think about, do we want presidents that are just about representation? Because we've had a black president, and under black president is where we see the rise of Black Lives Matter. Under a black president is where we saw more deportations, more than George Bush. Just because Hillary Clinton is a woman does not mean she won't vote and act like a patriarch, especially with her hawkish ways around war. In dire situations, which many of us are in, the transformative possibilities then are large. Often people say a Green Party vote is a wasted vote. What a wasted vote is continuing to vote because you're afraid. What kind of democracy makes you fear a candidate so that you vote for one, that you still view the policies as evil? It's like, has anybody ever been to New York City? Right, there's local trains and express trains. Like, I don't want evil, period. I don't want to vote the lesser of two evils. Why can't every candidate running for president be on the debate stage? Because those last three debates that we've seen, let me tell you the five issues that were never brought up. Let me say eight. In the three debates, nothing on climate change, nothing on education and student debt, nothing on poverty, nothing on drugs, nothing on the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership that I promise you, I'm sorry to tell people voting for Hillary Clinton, I promise you she will pass TPP. There has not been one free trade agreement that the Democrats have never liked. The issues with privacy and surveillance in this country, Edward Snowden to some of us is a hero. He's not a terrorist or what they, the, the media spins him out to be. What is happening right now with native people in this country? What has been happening? But what is happening in North Dakota? Why isn't that on the front page on every day? Do you know with that North Dakota pipeline, if that thing ever breaches, which it will, there's no pipeline that never eventually breaks, 17 million people all the way to this state Water will be contaminated. Nothing on campaign, campaign finance reform. Nothing about making all elections publicly financed so everyone has a fair shot. And where are the issues around lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer people? Not as an add-on, but the violence that particularly LGBTQ, but queer people in this country are facing not only by state violence, but by violence in their own communities. That the largest cost now for families is daycare. We have to serious, you have to question that. 